This video is going to introduce routine maintenance for Zenfone handheld laser welder. Always remember to wear the appropriate personal safety protection. If for any reason you do not understand, contact Zenfone after sales service via email or WhatsApp before you proceed. Open the machine cover to check whether the water circulation in the water cooler is normal. When the temperature rises, the drain valve should be opened first to drain the antifreeze in the chiller. Add purified water or distilled water from the water inlet and start the machine for circulation. Dilute the antifreeze and then discharge it from the drain outlet. Repeat two or three times. Then re-add purified water or distilled water to the green area. The condenser and dustproof net in the equipment should be cleaned regularly according to the work environment of the site. After removing the front screws, remove the water pipe connected to the rear of the water chiller. Pull out the chiller. Remove the dust filter on the side of the machine. Use compressed air to clean the dust filter and condenser respectively. After maintenance, put it back in an original way. Wipe the inside and outside of the welding nozzle with a disposable cotton swab to avoid the accumulated residue from clogging the nozzle. When shutting down or getting off work, it is necessary to put a protective cover into the nozzle. Unscrew and rotate the upper part and insert the cubic edge. There is a red dot here. Insert it into the black dot at the bottom, and then rotate this part until it is locked. Be sure to confirm that it has been locked. Please check according to the following operations and the winding protection to prevent dust from entering the QVH connection. Check that the rail light is centered before welding. If not, adjust the rail light to the center of the nozzle through the rail light offset setting on the display screen. First, adjust the nozzle to the innermost position before welding the material and directly short circuit the welding head and ground clamp. By suspending light, find the position with the strongest energy from far to near and adjust the nozzle to the corresponding position. Then pull out the screw of the lens drawer. Seal it the moment you pull it out and don't let dust fall into the focusing lines inside. Rotate and remove the compression ring. Then put the new lens in place, trying not to touch the lens with your fingers. Remove the masking tape, put the lens back, and complete the replacement of the protective lens. The welding materials should be kept as clean and tidy as possible. Try to maintain a 45 degree angle for welding. In this way, the welding spider is easily blown away by the protector and will not be reflected on the protective lines. Pay attention to the welding effect and sparks in time during the welding process. If there is any abnormality, please check the protective lines. Do not increase the laser power bluntly due to the change of welding effect. Maybe the protective lens needs to be replaced. Otherwise, continued use will increase the probability of damaging optical lenses, such as focusing lens.
The gasket should be checked before the start of welding every day. Observe the gas matter and check whether the air pressure is normal. It needs to be kept between 0.15 to 0.25 ampere.